guys welcome back okay i was kind of going through my palette collection and just kind of curious as far as which brands that i have quite a few palettes from or you know that i have the most palettes from and one of them i believe is morphe ColourPop um juvia's place of course brands like that where i have a lot of their palettes and i found that i have quite a few morphe palettes although i don't think i have a lot because morphe has a lot of palettes but for my collection i have quite a few morphe palettes and i said you know what i just kind of want to go through take a look at them see which ones i kind of want to revisit in the near future and so i may as well go ahead and share that with you guys right <laughs> so that's what i'm going to do today very quick very simple nothing extensive i just want to go through my morphe palette collection with you guys i did pull them all so i have them sitting in front of me show them to you tell you the names and just kind of give you uh some of my thoughts on them now there's a few I wouldn't say a lot, but there's a few that I actually haven't even used yet. You guys know me. So I'm just gonna show them to you guys and if I have used them and I have any thoughts, then we'll discuss. <laughs> okay, so this first one that I have here is actually a recent purchase. This is the 9G. So this is what it looks like on the back where it has, you know, the name there on the back. And this is what this palette looks like. Now, I know, I believe I purchased this maybe during my holiday shopping craze or whatever, because I really, really like the green and kind of like the purpy, purpy, purple and gold tones in here. The orange is pretty as well, but as you can see, I have not used this palette yet, but it's very, very pretty. Let me go ahead and do just a few swatches for you guys. You know, I don't know. I think maybe it's because I don't really have high hopes for this palette. <laughs> don't ask me why. But some palettes, when you look at them, you can kind of get like a feel of whether or not you think they're going to do much. And this is one where I don't really think it's going to do much for me. But if you like these kind of colors and tones, then you might like this palette. I mean, this swatch is okay. But yeah, I would definitely be have to be in the mood for something kind of earthy to go ahead and pull this palette out but yeah this is the morphe 9g now another green themed palette that i have from morphe is this 18b this is one of their artistry palettes and it's this size and it is cardboard this one has a mirror in it as well and there's also you know plastic name sheet but this is what this palette looks like. And I thought this palette was really, really pretty. I was drawn to kind of like these teal or like ocean type uh, blue green shades, as well as this pretty yellow here. I just kind of felt myself thinking, oh, that's a nice kind of different kind of green color scheme, if that makes sense. I thought it was really pretty. So this is what this palette looks like. It gives you like a little pop of orange in here as well. Kind of one of those grungy type greens. This kind of dark blue green here is really, really pretty. There's another grungy green up here as well. So I just kind of fell for this whole combination of shades together. Haven't used this one yet either, but I definitely plan on using this one pretty soon. You know, this is kind of like one of those fall type palettes, I think, but y'all know me, I use any palette any time of the year. But yeah, let me just do a couple of quick swatches from this one as well, just in case you're curious. Okay, so it looks pretty pigmented, that yellow, that green, that shimmer. Yeah, it looks very nicely pigmented. So I actually have some high hopes for this palette after looking at those swatches. Very, very nice. So this is the 18B as in boy. Now these next four palettes everyone is very familiar with. You already know Jaclyn Hill's Morphe collab. This was, what was it, the Vault? <laughs> the Controversial Vault Collection. Um, and I actually have only used, what, one or two of these. This is the Dark Magic. I have used the Dark Magic. Absolutely love this palette, okay? I really like it. <laughs> I, don't, 
I mean, I don't care what people say. I like how it performs. So I like that palette. This one here is Arm and Gorgeous. This is one that I actually really want to use. Um, Cause I like the pretty oranges and that green in the corner. I think that I could create a nice, you know, kind of fall-esque look with this. Very, very pretty. So I'm gonna try this out as well. I know I'll be farting around. This one here is Bling Boss. You would think I would have tried this one cause it's purple themed. But honestly, when I open this palette, the only purple I see is this one in the center. So, you know, I know these kind of have a purple mauve type feel to them, but y'all know when I think purple, I think purple. <laughs> so to me, it's kind of like a dusty rosy palette with a pop of purple in it, and I'm not drawn to it. But yeah, I have this one as well. And then this last one, Ring the Alarm. This one, I think I'm the least drawn to just because it's so just basic, warm, you know, orangey, brown, nothing remarkable. It is a pretty palette, but it's the one that I'm least drawn to. So, yeah. Next, I have here my Morphe Times Jeffree Star palette. Now, what got me with this palette is... I don't know, I like how pinks and greens look together. It's just something about that kind of different, intriguing, unique combination of pink and green that I just really, really like together. I like the way it looks. I like the layout of this palette. I think it's very pretty, very aesthetically pleasing to the eye, if you will. So I know that is what got me to buy this palette. Very, very pretty. I do like these beautiful pinks and burgundies in here. You have this gorgeous like pop of orange up here and then these greens, ugh, beautiful. You got some nice grunginess down here and some beautiful shimmers. As you can see, I have not used this palette yet. So I am actually very curious as far as how this will perform. I don't think I heard that it performs like horribly or anything. Just of course not to his usual standard of eyeshadows, but I have this palette as well. You guys know I got my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill volume two. This is the latest Morphe and Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette, I believe. I don't think she's come out with another one, but who knows? <laughs> but yeah, this was a gift from my girl, Lily. Y'all know all of the stress and drama I went through trying not to buy this palette because it is absolutely gorgeous. And so she sent it to me as a gift. And this, oh, this palette is so beautiful. I will go ahead and link my video for this palette above. Just, you know, if you haven't seen it and you're curious as far as what I did with it. But this palette is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, the shades are nicely pigmented. I think the only complaint that I had when I used it was this gold. And that's just a personal preference because I don't like those like putty type shimmers. And that's kind of like the formula of the gold in here. So it's really a personal preference, but the other shades are extremely pigmented. Very, very beautiful. I don't know if I've seen anyone create an ugly eye look. <laughs> with this palette. Okay, so next I'm going into my series of palettes that have like the black square packaging. This one is the 35V as in Victor. <sighs> this is one of my favorites actually. These palettes when they came out, they kind of made me fall in love with Morphe <laughs> after purchasing and using these palettes. Now, these have the little plastic name slip in there as well, but this is what this palette looks like. Oh, you guys, the blues, these little, this purple area down here, and then, you know, you have a whole section of basically just warm neutrals, but yo, you guys, this palette is so, so gorgeous to me. And the looks that I create with this palette, I know if I just ever want a bomb blue eye look and I don't wanna have to think about it or a look with some gorgeous purples, this palette does the trick. I really, really like this palette, so yeah. Next, I have the 35M as in Mary. 
and this one apparently I just taped the name <laughs> names on the top but this is what this one looks like and honestly I don't know which one of these I like better this one or the 35 V because once again this palette has a beautiful greens in here it just has kind of like that grungy feel to it gorgeous purples you even have some reds over here and a nice little quad of even more greens so I just really like how they came up with the color stories for these palettes I really really do I think they did a great job with the color schemes for these because it's not your typical you know when you think of Morphe you think okay 50 browns and a pop of whatever so this is just different you know these are different from that you get a nice variety of shades so I really really like this palette it performs very nicely as well next I have the 35H as in Henry <laughs> This palette is gorgeous as well. I need to use it some more. I really do. Out of these three palettes, this is one where I've only used it like twice, I think. And one of the times I used it, I had mixed the reds and blues together and came up with a purple look. So yeah, I really want to use this palette more just to do a blue side and a red side, you know, separately. But yeah, the colors in this palette, very very pretty and I just like how they arrange this it's kind of like you know a blue versus red type palette and I'm here for it I like it a lot now this is an older palette as you can see one of the ones that still had the red M on it this is the 35 P is in Paul and let me show you what this one looks like okay this one is to me it's very dark <laughs> it's a purple palette as you can see hence the p for 35p but this one is very dark when i open it up and look at it i see very cool just i don't know i think cool tone and dark when i open this and that's probably why i haven't used it have i used this yeah, I think I've even used this, you guys, just because of the fact that I'm not really into cool tones that much, and it just, it's kind of dark to me, but it's very pretty. If you like this type of color scheme or whatever, it's very nice. I don't even know if they have this anymore, because like I said, it is in the older style packaging, and they've been coming out with so many different palettes lately that they might not even have this one anymore, but it's still very pretty. Next, I have here the 3502, and this one, of course, was the revamping or, you know, the new version of their brown and red palette, and it has like a little bit more red in here than the first one. You know what, honestly, I don't know what I did with the first one, because I believe I did have it. Either I decluttered it or depotted it or gave it away or something, I don't know. But this is the 3502. This palette, just it makes me feel warm and tingly looking at it it it's a lot of brown it is a lot of brown you know a few pops of red a few pops of orange in here you know nothing remarkable but if you want to do an eye look that's brown and red or orange <laughs> or smoky this is the perfect palette for that it is really really pretty that red is really bold and bright absolutely gorgeous um I haven't swatched it in a while. Let me just swatch a couple of these for you guys. Try not to have the video too long with a million swatches, but let me just give you a few from this one. So those are some swatches from this palette. You know, just very, very warm. And I think it's really pretty. So yeah, if I ever want to do just a warm tone brown look, pop of red or smoky, this is an easy palette for me to pull. Oh my goodness, you guys, I was editing this video and completely forgot about a whole palette, okay? <laughs> but when I saw the 3502, it reminded me of the 3503. I was like, isn't there another palette similar to that that has green in it? And sure enough, it's this palette, the 3503, Fierce by Nature, and 
this palette i love the packaging on here it has kind of like that fiery look to the packaging very very gorgeous but let me just show you this right quick <laughs> so i could stick it in the video but this is one of the morphe palettes that has a lot of red you still get your browns in here some cool tones some warm tones but they put a pop of glitter in here the orange glitter also these pops of green a light green shimmer and like a neon type green here but yeah I totally forgot about this palette but I knew I had another palette that had more red in it and also that green so I'm glad I remembered it so I could throw it in this video as well but yeah this palette is very nice also I've used this a few times, definitely for the reds. I did one look with the green as well, but very, very nice palette. So just wanted to pop this in as well. Okay, you guys, so this is a newer palette that I picked up recently. This is the 39L, so it's one of their larger 39 pan palettes. Very, very pretty. This is that four-way collab palette with, I guess, four influencers none of which I follow, so I can't give you any information on them. But I thought the palette itself was really pretty, really creative, and I like the color scheme of it. But this is what this palette looks like. Now, what I like about this palette, and as you can see, I haven't used this yet, <laughs> but what caused me to buy this palette is because of the fact that I like how there are different sections in here. I like this cute little neon section over here. Over here, it's kind of like a, a soft, you know, like pinky type section. Over here, you have your bold red section and then you have just your basic neutrals but you also have like glitters in here so it's kind of like one of those overall like well-rounded palettes for someone who likes to do different things all the time and wants to have it in one palette so that's kind of the feel that I get from this palette this section here in the center that has all of these different you know kind of like highlighting shades is really nice you have this bright white pop shimmer here that you can use on your inner corner um yeah i just really like the diversity of this palette i think so along with that as well as the packaging i'm just really hoping that it's not a horrible palette <laughs> when i go to use it because you know i have high hopes for it so anyways this is the 39 l now this palette here actually used to be my favorite palette when I purchased it. This was a lot of palette purchases ago, so I have since then acquired a new favorite palette. But this used to be my favorite palette because I just fell in love with it when I saw the color scheme. This is the 39A Dare to Create. I don't even know if they sell this anymore, but looking at it, you probably wouldn't think, oh, how is that your favorite palette? There ain't even no real color in there, KK, but it was just something about the different sections in here as well. You know, the beautiful reds and plums, the cool tone neutrals, this larger section in here that had a nice variety of bronzing and highlighting shades um or setting powders you know for different skin tones as well as the blue section green section black i just really enjoyed everything that they have put into this palette so yeah this used to be my favorite palette i used it quite a bit and i still love it but i do have a new favorite <laughs> next here i have the morphe and james charles palette this palette I've actually only used a couple of times. I mean, with all the hype and everything surrounding it and with it being a rainbow type palette, you would think that I would use it more, but it's actually not one that I gravitate to when I think about color. I have so many other palettes that I reach for before this one. Maybe I do need to use it more, just, you know, maybe I'll like it more if I use it more. But, I mean, it's a very beautiful, colorful, rainbow palette. When I have used it, it's worked out, you know, just fine for me. But it's not one that I reach for all the time. So, you know, I know you guys are already very familiar with this palette. I bought it when it first came out. And as you can see, you know, I don't use it. I really don't reach for it. So, 
Yeah, I think I will play with this one more because I know there's a lot of people that really, really love and rave about this palette. So yeah, the James Charles and Morphe palette. And lastly, I only have one more, you guys. So you see, I have a, a decent amount of Morphe palettes, but not a crazy amount. And I like it that way. <laughs> this one is the 39S. So this is a very, very beautiful purple palette. Um, it is one of my favorite purple palettes. It's not my absolute favorite purple palettes, but it's definitely one of them. This palette is gorgeous and it performs very, very well, okay? I like the range that they, you know, use to create this palette because even though it's a purple theme palette, you still get like some gorgeous red and pink tones over here. There's some really pretty like light toppers here in the center that can give your eye look just a different pop of shine and shimmer to it. You have a little, you know, glitter in there if you want to play around with that. You have dark shades to deepen up your eye look. You also have this really pretty kind of like lavender thing going on as well. So I think that they did do a really good job of coming up with a combination of shades that they have in this palette. I think it's really, really pretty and I really like this purple palette. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So that's it you guys for all of my Morphe eyeshadow palettes. I think that's enough. I have a total of 17 Morphe eyeshadow palettes to date and I'm pretty happy with the ones that I have. So let me know down in the comment section if you have some of these palettes, especially some of the ones that I haven't tried before. If you want me to try them out, just let me know and I will go ahead and do so if I haven't done a video on them already. But thank you so much for watching you guys and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!